You asshole! Am I bleeding? I'm oh, bleeding. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not help. uh, helping. Ah. Uh, Alright. Uh, we even now? For now. Ah. We just watched the raid too. Raid 2 is another Indonesian action film by a Welsh director named Gareth Evans. The film is about a guy and he fights through a crime syndicate or something and it has nothing to do with a building. It has nothing to do with the first movie at all. But there's a, a girl called Hammer Girl and a guy called Baseball Batman, uh, presumably because he loves the sport of baseball so much. Just letting you guys know, by the way, we did just like double feature both of the Raid movies. Yeah. We seriously like, like we watched the first one, recorded that review, and then we watched the second one, and now we're talking about that one. So yep. it's, both movies are really fresh in our heads right now. It took a little bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that, that movie really kicked our ass. Yeah, it really did. I felt like this one, um, took on more of a, I don't know, like blockbuster feel. Like the previous raid, I think the, the reason why it was shot the way it was was because they, because of like the lack of space, because they were fighting in such close quarters. In the raid two, um, they're, they're more spread out. They've got a lot more room. And so I think it's shot um, similarly, but it's not as, as, I think it's not as tight. Because they expanded out beyond this little apartment complex they're mm -hmm. able to do things like there's a fight in the kitchen there's a fight in a club yeah Just fights all over the all over town yeah so it seems like they kind of that, that's what they wanted to do all along was, was shoot the larger set pieces and i guess probably just due to budgets and not being not getting funding or whatever what's stopping us from shooting a scene on a subway train what's stopping us from shooting a car chase you know, we couldn't do cartridges in the first one, <laughs> like, you know. They had to shoot the first one in the apartment complex, but then this one, I guess, is the movie they always wanted to make. The action is, I'd say it's on par. Even the action, it's a lot more absurdly brutal. In the first one, you had things like... The second one, though... The, the movie holds on some of these gruesome shots at some points mm -hmm. with just I think for effect value it yeah it is it is way more brutal but I feel like um, 
Oh, there's more space in between the fight scenes. He didn't just put a fight scene in there because like, oh, it's like been, you know, 10 minutes. We gotta be like, we gotta have a fight scene somewhere. He just, he let the fight scenes occur naturally where they should happen within the story and where the plot was progressing. Because the film, it is very plot focused. Yeah, compared to the, compared to the first one, this is very more plot, uh, much more plot focused than, than the uh, prequel. Is there too much plot in this movie? It's it's still an action movie for sure, but it's got a lot more elements of crime drama and like that like suspense in it than the, the previous one did. I'd be really curious about seeing how much actual action is in the movie mm -hmm. because the first movie is what like an hour and a half long. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so like if the movie first movie is this long uh -huh. and the second movie is this long, which yeah. is more than an hour longer than the first movie. Yeah. I mean, like, could you cut out all the dialogue and have just a straight-up action movie that's just as long as the first one? Maybe. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Yeah, the story is, it's drags on, but. How much does the main character actually do? He doesn't really do much throughout the whole movie. Not really, he kind of just reacts to everything and. Yeah, like, yeah. like things are happening around him. Uh huh. But the main character doesn't do anything until the very end of the movie when he kicks more ass than anybody in the history of ass kicking. Yeah, he, yeah, he does not do anything to progress the plot other than cozy up to the crime lord's son and then just kill everybody in the end. I think it works well. I, I, I think I do like the, the raid, the first one, more than the second one. But then there are elements of the second that I do like. I like the varying set pieces, mm -hmm. the different locations of the different fight scenes. I like that. I like that there's more story. I don't like the, like I said, that the story drags on. It does something really interesting. I think it does something really well that mm -hmm. a lot of uh, successful sequels have done. Mm -hmm. Is that it's taken a movie in a certain genre and a certain style mm -hmm. and it's done something completely different with it. For the first Raid film, we got a closed space, wall-to-wall, -wall, literally wall-to-wall -wall action film. Mm -hmm. In this one, we've got a more expansive crime drama. Mm -hmm. It doesn't try to copy the same thing. So in that way, I, I applaud them for trying to do something different with a sequel. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it comes with expenses and it fails on a couple levels because of that. Yeah, it's a flawed movie, but it's still a fantastic action movie, which at the core, that is what it is. Yeah. Uh, plain and simple. It's, it, you come to see the movie for the action, you don't come to see it for the plot. At its action -y core, it's still a fantastic movie. So I mean, I could recommend either one, but obviously, first more than second. Yeah, I am just really happy that we didn't get a raid two. That was like, now they have to go up a two hundred story building. <laughs> yeah, we already got dread. <laughs> yeah, you didn't watch that. I, maybe not. Right. So yeah, the raid wins. Ooh. What do you want, a f***ing medal? <laughs>